people can hear me, go ahead and put it in the chat. I am in the chat on my iPad, so I'll be looking down. I'm going to fix the lighting here real quick. Yes, much better. Go ahead and put it in the chat if you can hear me. You can only chat if you are a subscriber. So if you want to chat to me and I would love for you to do so, go ahead and put in the chat um, and you just have to subscribe quick, which you can just go ahead and do. How's everybody doing tonight? It's Wednesday night. I am in the north part of the country and it was so cold all week and now it's like 70 degrees. So what are you going to do? I'm going to give some people time to get here before we get started. I'm going to be watching the chat on my iPad so there is slight delay. So if you can hear me, go ahead and put in the chat and say hey. Ooh, I got a thumbs up. Appreciate that. All right, I'm just going to wait another minute and then we are going to get started. I'll tell you what we're going to be doing today. It's going to be fun. Um, hi, JJ. Hi. Hello. Yay. Okay, great. Obviously, you can hear me. Perfect. All right, we got some people in the room, so that's exciting. Some housekeeping stuff. I am going to be doing this once a week, uh, so get used to this, all right? Um, in order to thank all my doll babies, and everyone who subscribed is my doll baby, and so to thank you, I am doing a subscriber-only chat. So in order to chat to on the live chat, you need to be subscribed. And that is just to thank everybody who is supportive. Uh, we all love each other in the chat and we help each other. Hi, Carrie. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming. Um, so in order to really support each other and to... Hi, Maeve. Hi. I got your question right here on my little sheet. Um, so I know... <laughs> Maeve has been wanting me to do a live chat for like since I started this channel so um, I have been working hard on what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it all that and so uh, this is for her for sure um, but as like I was saying I wanted to reward the people that have really been supportive um, so when I'm doing these lives they are definitely going to be just for in terms of the chat just for the people who are subscribed so all you have to do is subscribe and then you can chat away. Okie doke. Um, all right. So what we're going to do today. <laughs> you're not a pain. You're not a pain. Uh, but what we're <laughs> maybe you're too funny. I'm telling you that right now. Um, but what we're going to do. Let me go. I'm going to refresh this so that I can see the chat. For some reason, I can't see the chat on my iPad, but that's okay. All right, I can see the things coming up. Um, I was just hoping that I could see it on my iPad too. I think it's just slow. I have like slow mode uh, turned on so that I can see things because I'm not wearing my glasses. So um, it's coming up on my screen, but I don't have like a chat on the side. All right, so this is the agenda for tonight. Uh, what I wanted to do is do some wig coaching, some live wig coaching. Um, if you're a member, uh, you should be able to view the community tab. Hi, Shelly, hi. Hi from Florida. Hi. Um, if you are a, oh, someone's saying that they can't uh, find me. If you go onto my channel, I'm on my channel as like a subscriber. So if you can't find me right now, if you go onto my channel, it should show that I am live, and then you just hit the one that's live, not the one that shows that it is. I have to turn the volume down. There's going to be one that shows that it's waiting for me to come on, and then there's, there's one that shows that I'm actually live. So click the one that says that I'm live. You might actually have to go off my channel and go back on to have it refresh. 
Hi, Liz. Hi. There you go. Now I'm seeing everything. Okay. So today I wanted to do, I wanted to talk all about parts. I got so many questions about the different types of parts. What do you do with the parts? What's a free part? What's a lace parting? What looks natural? What doesn't look natural? And so I thought what we would do is that is what is going to be sort of the main topic for tonight. Um, but if you are a subscriber, you can go onto my community tab and I will ask certain like questions, like what do you want to talk about? Um, I've also been writing down your questions. So if you ask me a question just on a regular video, I've actually been writing them down and keeping a tally. So what I'm going to do going forward is every single week, if you ask me a question, um, I'm going to answer you. But if it needs to be maybe a longer answer, or maybe I want to do a demonstration, I'll let you know, hey, here's the answer, but check out the live and I'm going to answer more. Hi, hi. Hi, doll. How are you? Um, so I'm going to do this so that sometimes I answer your questions and I do the best that I can, but often it's like I want to show it to you and I can't do that. So we're going to do this every week. It's going to be wig coaching. I'll pick a topic, um, but if you send in a lot of questions, you, are, you guys are going to drive the topic. Um, so before we get started in the main thing, I'm going to answer Mavis' question because she sent me a question and she has wanted me to do lives for so long. So... To thank her, I'm going to answer her question. So she asked me, what is on my bucket list and why? So I love sparkling water. I'm going to take a little sparkling water here. What is on my bucket list and why? Um, I don't really think of life in that way, like bucket list. I have things that I want to do. Right now, I'm sort of hyper-focused on growing my channel and taking what I'm doing with wigs and wig coaching to like the next level. I have so much that I'm working on behind the scenes that I'm sort of like almost, did you ever get so excited about something that you're like just shaking with all the ideas? Like I almost have so many ideas that I want to be working on that I feel like I just don't have enough time. Um, that's really what I'm focused on. Outside of that, I just maybe like traveling and, you know, I want to go to Europe. I've always wanted to go to Mykonos. Um, you know, I'd like for my partner and I just to like enjoy things that I haven't been able to enjoy. Uh, my son's 17 now, you know, I would like to just be able to, you know, travel and see things and just experience things and maybe like not worry. That's on my bucket list, not worrying. <laughs> That's really on my bucket list. Um, but other than that, I mean, I would really like to maybe have like own a business of some sort. I have owned businesses in the past and I feel like that is probably like my bucket list thing is to own a business that really changes people's lives. Um, I do have some ideas and I have some things that I think are really going to I really feel like they're going to happen, but I will keep that part to myself. But that is really my bucket list thing. What are your, your what's on your guys' bucket list? Like, what are some things that you really want to do in life? Um, share those down in, in the comments. Like, I want to read and I want to know what you guys have on your bucket list. But, so, Maeve, does that answer your question? <laughs> um, but... Outside of that, so I wanted to talk about parting. The biggest question I get all the time before we even talk about the types of part is what tool do I use in the part? So this right here is a tool. <laughs> You're welcome. This is the tool that I use in the part, okay? And if you can see this, this is a... <sighs> What it actually is, it's a makeup brush. And if you've ever heard of a uh, makeup brushes like Artiste, uh, they're like oval makeup brushes. Sometimes people call them toothbrush shaped makeup brushes. These are from Real Techniques and they came out with them too. Uh, the bigger ones look like this. This is made for eyeliner. You know, it's supposed to be like this, but I feel like because of how, like see how it's like real skinny skinny like that. It's just look perfect right in there. Goes right into the part. And I also like how, let me get my powder here. I also like how you go right into the powder and then it just like, you can just go right in there and you can come even down. I like to go down below the, the line of demarcation. If you're wondering who I'm wearing, uh, it's a uh, free trust Valentino. 
but this is like the best thing ever. In each of my description boxes, I do have a link. I get them on Amazon. You get like a bunch of them. There's like a foundation sized one. I think I have, yeah. This is a Real Techniques one, but this is like the foundation one, which is like huge. Um, but they come in like a set of four for like $7.99. I've never really seen these outside of a set except for at Dollar Tree. And they're there like randomly. Um, but these, I love them. I think that they're something that I would, you absolutely need to have if you are someone who likes wigs, wears wig. I also like the one that's made for eyeshadow, um, because it's really good for if you're trying to work with the part, like if you're doing rooting or say like your parting is too wide or you've over plucked or something, then you can take your shadow. Let me just go ahead and show you quick. Say, let's take your shadow here. And say we want to pull this parting in. So I'm just going to take this brush in here. And it's just like perfect just to like add a little bit here. And see how that tightened that up right there? Someone is beeping. Hush. Just like that. And I think it's just the perfect brush. So those are the brushes that you see. Some people are like, I got the one you recommended. It works so well. Yeah, there's... The one I normally use is just from Amazon. It's linked in all of my description um, boxes. I'm, I'm going to put like a little quick coaching up about uh, the tool I use in the part just so I can refer it to new people. And uh, But literally that's the magic tool that I use. And I have not really found anything that works better. It's so quick and easy. You don't have to worry about getting powder everywhere. Uh, I think it's, it's great. Um, if you just come in the room, welcome. We're doing some wig coaching. Uh, please ask whatever questions you want to ask in the chat. If I can get to it today, I definitely will. If not, I have my little paper here and I will write it down. We're going to do this every week, so I'll make sure to get to your question. Um, I'm The only people that can chat right now are people who are subscribed to my channel. That's just a little thank you to everybody. Um, what do you use to pluck the part? I will, I will answer that in just a second, Shelly. Let me get a pen because you know what? I have ADHD and sometimes I forget stuff. That's why I have this like little cheat sheet. That's the other thing. People always ask me about how like I plan for YouTube and organize for YouTube. I have to have sheets. So uh, uh, tool to pluck part. <laughs> and I will answer that for you. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're in the live chat, you just click you just click out of the live chat and then you can subscribe and come back into the live chat and then you can go ahead and chat. So uh, we've covered the tool. Um, before I talk about plucking the part, what someone asked me, what do I use powder? Do I use foundation? Do I use concealer? Do I lose, use loose powder in the part? I don't use loose powder because I feel like most loose powders are more meant to be sort of setting or translucent. So I think it like goes away. So I do not use loose powder. Um, I use powder foundation and of course it's not going to be right in front of me because why would it be? Um, the one that I use all the time is the Bare Minerals. You know what? Hold please. It's right here. No, it's not right here. Why isn't it right here? Um, it's because I was using it. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. It's a powder. It's a pressed powder foundation. It's not like a loose powder. And it is in Cool Beige 10. I talk about it all the time. That's my favorite one because it's like, I just like the texture. I think it stays in the part well. Um, it is kind of pricey, to be honest with you. It retails for $33. Is it necessary? Like, is it the only powder that will will work? No. Um, Sephora and Ulta often put it for 50% off, so I do get it when it's 50% off. And it's in it's at TJ Maxx a lot for 50% off. Um, I just really like it. It's a very smooth powder as well, and I just think that it melds well with the lace it, it kind of flutters into the lace very nicely and also along the hairline i also do though really like this laura geller uh baked balance and brighten foundation um this you can get at tj maxx like so cheap i've actually panned this like look at that this is the actual pan of it um you can get this for like ten dollars or less and this one i'm not even joking you i think i bought this two years ago i'm panning it but i use this 
all the time. Like I'm purposely trying to pan it. And this is in the shade. This is in the shade medium. I bought this one at the same time and I still have so much left. So this one I think works really well too. So I use pressed powder foundations. I used to use liquid concealer. To be honest, I feel like I feel like it just mess it like it's it's kind of messy then you have to wash your wigs more I don't know I just don't like it as much I think it can chunk up um, I also think if you make a mistake or if you put too much in um, it just or like it can uh, it can catch product so say like I want to use a little gel here it'll catch product and just look goofy so I just use that does it wear off if you're wearing your wig all day well yeah so I just carry this around with my little tool and I just right back in. Okay, let's talk about, Shelly wants to know, what tool do I use to pluck the part? Tracy says, I have that too. I also use Laura Getter, Geller, the bronze in Brighton. It lasts a long time. Yeah, I use the, yeah, it's the bronze, baked bronze in Brighton. Yeah, I have that too right here, just in general as a powder. Yeah, Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighton, which gives you like a, it gives you sort of like a little reflective. See, this is so pretty. Just side note, this is just so pretty. Just kind of put a little bit on the cheeks, like just to give you a little something where you're not looking like, hey, I just slapped a bunch of highlighter on, but you're like, hey, I just, I'm, I just went outside and look fresh and, and young and beautiful. Um, but yeah, those products are really good. Um, thank you so much, Tracy. So the tool that I use, I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't plucked apart in probably two years. And the reason is, is because I have a different relationship with parts. I did a video and you can look, it's called like realistic parting, where I took photos of me wearing different types of wigs with different types of part, lace parting, no parting, full cap wigs, um, monofilament parting, and I put it next to people who, with their bio hair with different types of parting. And I really noticed that they don't look that much different. That I think because when you wear wigs, you're so hyper focused on how the parting looks and how the hairline looks. When you really look at bio hair and how different they look, you know, often it's really not that noticeable. It's just noticeable because we notice it. Um, but if you do want to pluck the part, I like to use. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I use tweezers and my hands and I like the tweezer hands method just because I think sometimes you can go ham when I used to pluck parts sometimes I went to the next level I have these Revlon tweezers that I love very much these ones are just like fancy for the sake of being fancy um, but they are they're just their normal Revlon like pointy edge ones like they're kind of really sharp on the edge I like them where they're angled and sharp at the tip so you can get the hairs okay um, and what I normally do is pull the hair and then kind of wrap it on my finger and do it. I have also just plucked the part with my hand. Um, I can demonstrate me plucking the part if you want to. I probably have a wig here that I can do. Um, yeah, I can, I can do that. Uh, so Shelly, if you want to, sh if you want me to show you quick how to do that, I can do that. So just put that in the chat. Okay. Real quick, if you're really liking this so far, if you don't mind giving the video a, a thumbs up. And like I said, if you have any questions, please put that in the chat. Um, someone asked, can a fixed part be changed? So this wig right here is Valentino and this is a lace parting wig. So what this means, <laughs> hi Bibi. Bibi just decided that she wants to be a part of this. Bibi almost never gets up here. Um, so a lace parting wig means a full cap wig. I'm just going to take this off. Ugh. Hi, Maxie. So this is a full parting wig. So that means that it's a full cap wig other than right here, just in the parting area. And this one is set to be a middle part. Someone asked me, can you change a part if it is fixed to be a certain way? So my answer is 
No, but yes. Um, it depends on the parting style. So like this one is meant to be a middle part, okay? You could change it so long as the ear tabs are not in your way. Now this one has bendable to ear tabs, so that's gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room. Kick, tiny, tiny, you're gonna have to move, sorry. Um, so you can only change it by like shifting it, see? And you can shift it a little bit so so long as it's not like bothering your ears. Um, but as far as changing it, the only thing you can do on something like this, which is a lace part, is to do what's called the flip over method. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb. Mm, let's flip over. How, which way do I want to go? I guess we can go this way. And I'm just gonna pull this hair that's right next to the part and essentially flip it over the part. And then essentially what you would have to do is heat set that so that it would lay sort of like this. So yes, you could do that and not that that looks bad. So Shelly says, I have a wig that's called a spin part. A spin part is a shiftable part. It's the same thing. It just means you can go like this or this or this. Um, frankly, you can, you, you can shift or spin any part so long as the ear tabs are not in your way. So you could change a part by doing something like this. You would just have to maybe put a little heat on it or, you know, get your clips. You know, get your clips and sort of spray it a little bit, you know, up a little bit and, and train it a little bit like this. And then once you trained it... This one actually wouldn't take much to train, to be honest with you. Yeah, see? I could just put a little hairspray in here. Hi, time time. So in this regard, I think um, a lace part would actually be easier to do. Now, obviously, this isn't like the best because I'm just doing this on the fly. But see? So I could do that. So that's why I say yes and no. Like, it kind of really, really depends. Ooh, that's actually kind of cute. I might just leave her like that for a minute. Okay, so um, the only other way you can sort of change a part is if you get what's called a free parting or if you're in name brand wigs, they're going to call those a, uh, a monofilament parting. Um, mom, mom, mom. I think she's a mono part. Let's see if this is. So this isn't a monofilament. It's not a full monofilament, but it's a monofilament. No, yeah. So it's a monofilament part. So for this one, it's open here, which means you can part and change it all in here. Um. So in a in a wig that's more affordable, that's not a name brand. Here, let's use it's tipped right off my chair. Let's use this is Janet Collections. See? Side note, I got these silicone wig grips and they're too tight for me, but they are so great for my my little models here. They're perfect. So this is a more affordable wig and they call it a free parting. And this is also a silk top. So everywhere where you see this, you can adjust. I know, kitten, Kit Kat is just like, she wants to live her best life. You know, BB never does this. She's never wanting to be a part of anything. Um, BB's about, mm, She's about 13 years old, and she's, I mean, she's full grown, but she's so tiny. I always feel like I'm going to break her, 
but you know she's kind of going deaf and she's just real skittish she never wants to be anywhere now i want to go live and she's all like hey i want to be a part of something um but so on this affordable wig you can see that you can this is all open so i can part her any way and so in a wig like this oh shelly i had a kit cat if you really watched a lot of my videos i had a cat Maisie in some of my older videos fortunately she passed away two years ago now and she was i got her when i was pregnant with avery so she was 16 when she passed away but i just like i love cats this is a i have a tattoo of Maisie right there um so yeah oh Maeve. yeah that was that was hard I'm really liking this, but like, Valentino, you're, so you would have to train it if you wanted to do this, but you could definitely do this. And you can see like, there's no definitive part, but I don't think it looks bad. Oh, I'm sorry, Shelly. It's really hard to lose pets. I think it's so underrated. People, I think, really downplay how much pets um, play a role in our lives and like how important they are. And if you think about if you've had a pet, you know, 18, 16, 13 years what the things you have done and experienced and gone through in your life in that amount of time like obviously losing a pet is really is really a big deal so my heart goes out to you because um yeah it, it's really really challenging um okay so gotta check off so that's what i use to pluck the part shelly do you want me to show you how i pluck it because i can totally do that i'm sorry i'm living for valentino with this flip over <laughs> oh my this is this is the fun part of wigs and this is why i wanted to start doing these lives because showing you something is totally different um so can you fit okay the other question i got is oh it's funny someone asked me do you pluck the part and how do you pluck the part so i guess i'm gonna show you because someone else asked. so let me get um i want to get one that i was gonna do that with anyway let me go ahead and get um, no, 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 no. i have an older wig where is she okay here we go let me grab her so this is oh yeah she this one's this one's struggling okay so this is a wig i haven't done the video on her yet but this is a wig it's like um brazilian blowout it's by outre it's an older wig Okay, Maxie, I'm doing that right now. So this is an older wig. I have a series of videos where I take like my favorite wig and then I review it in a different color to see if I, do I actually love the wig or is it the color that I love? Um, and so this was a wig that I had in a different color that I absolutely love. It's an older wig, but she is still available. And since it's an older wig, she is a lace front wig. I'll do a full review, and, I, and since I'm plucking her on this live, I'll do the review. I'll probably just do it tomorrow, and I'll get it up sooner rather than later since you guys are already seeing it. Um, but she is a lace front, and she does have a lace part. It's sort of a curved part. Um, but the parting looks a little tight. So let's go ahead and fix it. Why don't we? All right, why don't we... In the chat, why don't you put down, like, what do you guys feel about parting? What are your guys' feeling? This is a lace parting wig grip. Oh, I shaved, like, all my hair off, by the way. Um, this is a lace parting wig grip from Free Trust Equal that I'm loving. It has, like, these, like, gripper gels. Um, it's so comfortable. I'm, since I shaved my head off, I've also not been wearing a wig cap. I actually don't necessarily suggest that, but do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> um, let's see. I think she is a, is she a left-sided part? She's a right-sided part. So let's put this wig grip slightly right. Oh, thank you, Maeve. Yeah, I was having some issues with, with my bio hair, and I just, I was like, you know what, I'm shaving it all off. I'm just doing it. 
It was already short. I was already struggling. I was like, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. It's funny. My hair was already short. And I already shaved the sides and everything. But, like, to shave everything, I was, like, so scared. But I, I have some... You can almost kind of see... I was just having some patchiness and some places where I was visibly noticing that, you know, sections were missing. And it's like... Not obviously I'm used to it, but sometimes it's like when it, you know, when you start losing your hair again, like when it hasn't been, you haven't been losing it for a while. I don't know why it's like such a shock. It's been happening to me since my 30s, but it just bothered me. And one day I was like, I'm just shaving it. So I did. I have a perfect touch. It's funny. I'm always like. All right. So we're going to get this one. Do you put your do you put your wigs on back to front or front to back? I've always wondered that. Okay. All right, let me see what's happening here. I hate when you put a wig on and like a lot of the hairs are under the wig, so when you comb it, you can feel them coming up from underneath. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like when you walk into a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A spider web? It's that feeling. All right, so. So you can see that is tight and it's tight towards the front. I had this wig in more of like a 99J color. And this one, I don't have her stock card with me because I wasn't ready. I wasn't planning on doing her right now. But she looks like she's maybe, she could actually be in an, a number four. I want to do a whole video on like, the inconsistency of the number four <laughs> because sometimes the number four is dark and sometimes it's not yeah she's pretty long I am five foot six and a half so she is let me see if I can get her she's right here so she's not she's probably 18 esque she's not too too bad like she's long enough to be cute but not long enough not too long to be um you know, not manageable. Um, and this is all the hairs to the front. So it's a nice density. All right. So when I'm plucking the part, I clip the hair just because that helps me not oops, some tipping stuff over here. People, I clip the hair so that I don't over pluck. How long is your face? Mine is not, I don't even know. Um, you know what? I will measure because I have to do the whole, like, I didn't measure my head or anything. How long is your face? I'll do that when I measure my head because I want to do all that. I know I have, I think I have like 22 inch head or something. Um, but I know that that would be beneficial for people if I could do my head measurements and stuff. So I can also measure my face. All right, so she has bendable ear tabs. I'm gonna shift her slightly so she's not full, full, like super, I don't like a super deep part. All right, but yeah, she's real tight in there. So what I normally do before I pluck the part is I actually put powder in the part because I wanna see what I am doing. So we're gonna go ahead and put powder. I'm I actually I'm using this too. This is the Too Faced uh, Coker Coco Powder Foundation. So a powder foundation, a pressed powder foundation. The only reason I'm using this is because it's expired, <laughs> so I can't use it on my face. It's in the shade medium. Um, it still it still smells like cocoa though. Isn't that weird? Do you like scented makeup? I love scented makeup. Some people hate it. Um, but that's the other thing, like, you can use it for wigs, like, it's expired for my face, but, like, I can definitely use it for wigs. Like, this is probably legit, like, four years old. So I'm just going to put it in. You can even see putting it in how it's on the actual, um, 
wig. So now I can see what I want to pluck. So that's my first tip. Put the powder in so you see what you're doing. And then I'm going to take my really sharp Revlon pointed tweezers. I also have these ones. They don't have a name. I'm sure I got it. I get everything at TJ Maxx. Yeah, it already looks better with the powder, huh, Maeve? Um, I usually pluck right. Let me, let me, let me get close to you. Oh, showing you on camera, right? Um, these ones I just like because it has a gripper. Most things I get, people always ask, like, where do you get your clothes? Where do you get this? I'm not, like, so tied about, like, where I get things. 99 times out of 10, um, I got it from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. <laughs> That's just the truth to you. Or it's some old thing that I had. All right, so I'm going to come in here. And... I'm going to start with this section right here. Some people don't like an, a full opening there. If I'm going to pluck the part, I want the full opening there. So I'm just going to pull. And when I do the front part, I actually pull these with the sharp edge. I just pull away. I don't actually pluck them out yet. I just pull away to feel them loose. Do you see right there? Okay. To see what I'm plucking first. So I pull them loose. And then when I get them loose enough, I wrap them around my finger and pull them out. So I actually don't pull them all the way out with the tweezers because I found that way then you don't over pluck. Kit Kat. She's doing, she's doing something people. All right, while I'm doing this, if I don't have any commentary, I will. Is this even helping anybody? Yeah, you can rip the lace plucking. That's why I actually don't use the clippers right against the lace. I just use it to sort of like if you can see, I just like wiggle it loose. So I've actually not pulled, it's still connected. It's just sort of loose. And then I use this. Um, and I also feel like as you get more confident, you'll get better with it. And then see how this powder is wear, wear, wear down, wore down. If you feel like you're not sure, put powder in again, it's okay. So you can really use that to guide where you wanna go. Um, and then I just work my way back and I don't like work like some people are like like open this section and then I actually just work my way back and then work my way up so and I don't do it like here I jump around a little bit because like nobody's part is like stark straight if that makes sense so I'll pull a little bit here and pull some out and then I'll go back a little bit because we want it to look as natural as possible and nobody has like a razor straight part and don't go this fast if you're not comfortable and then once I've gone one swipe, really, did you, seriously, this is what I have to deal with. Then I go through and just comb it through. Plus you're going to comb through any like ones that you were loose. So when you're plucking the part, I just say, take your time. It's okay. See, like that already looks better. Let me get a different color that's not as light. Honestly, I think like one more pass through would be totally fine. What do you think? One more pass through. I really just like it to be open right here so that it can blend with my scalp. Much better. Shelly, was that helpful a demonstration on like how you can do that? See, I'm not actually not pulling 
the hair from the lace, I'm grabbing the hair from away from the lace and then pulling it out. Oh yay, I'm so glad. Overall, like I do this to help people and I, I have to feel like I'm being helpful. Um, this, I, I almost just did something that I have done in the past. So I pulled up some hairs and see it's a bigger clump. I could have yanked this out, but this could could have ripped the lace. So because I was going too fast, glad I wasn't over talking. So I'll just separate this and just get like two or three pieces. If you're moving too fast and talking, <laughs> You could do that, so. Um, but yeah, I'm basically just grabbing like, there's like two or three pieces of hair. And I'm actually not even, it seems like I'm yanking, it's just pulled around that, but look, I'm just pulling it, and let me do it in slow-mo. I'm just pulling this out. I'm not, ripping it seems like it just because i'm doing it fast some people i have seen when they do the part they are whipping them out and then you end up ripping the lace i'm actually just loosening it the knot from the lace by doing that and then pulling pulling the hair out like that all right let's see where i think we're in a good spot with this right now i really do now, obviously, there's a few more things I would do with this wig, and I'll do that more in the full review. But in terms of the part, let's see what let's see what we did. Let's see what we did. I don't know why I'm singing. Oh yeah. I think it's better. What do you think? Okay. All right. So we are rounding about, I got about 15 minutes that I wanted to be on here. Um, so the, the last thing that I want to talk about is, oh, you came from Denise. I love Denise. I love Denise. We have partnered in the past together. Um, she's the best. She's so great. I like her a lot. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is the different types of parts. Because I think, especially if you're someone who's, um, so if, you, if you're from Denise's channel, you may be used to uh, name brand wigs. And if you aren't used to name brand wigs and you're used to more affordable wigs or wigs that are probably marketed more towards women of color, um, the names for the same thing, they have two different names for the same thing. So I want to talk about the different types of uh, parting so that you know a, if you're buying wigs and you're not used to buying name brand wigs or you're not used to buying uh, affordable wigs, you know exactly like what they're talking about. I'm actually going to do a full coaching series um, and you're going to be seeing that um, rolling out soon. But it's like wig terms like and I'm talking about very in depth. What, what are we talking about? Why are we talking about it? What does it actually mean? Uh, so you can just be a more informed consumer. But that is coming. Um, so this is just the tip of the iceberg for that. So let's start with, um, do the fibers last longer on name brand wigs? I'm going to say, <clears throat> do the fibers last longer on name brand wigs? The answer to that is no. And the reason I say that is this, I need to write this down. <laughs> do name brand wig fibers last longer? Synthetic fibers last as long as synthetic fibers last. And I know that probably is like some kind of crazy riddle. Um, synthetic fibers are fibers. It's like your clothes or your curtains or anything. Um, they're going to last as long as they are, you know, as strong as they are, but also more due to the wear and the care. And that just is what it is. Um... If you have bought something that is like, say you bought a shirt and it's like so expensive and beautiful, it's not going to necessarily 
you know, sometimes if it's it's a less expensive shirt, obviously it's not going to last as long. But if you wash the same shirt, the same amount of times, like it's just the amount of the fact that it's just fibers and they're going to, they're going to wear. It just, you know, it is what it is. I don't want you to think, like if something is cheap, it's cheap, it's cheap, right? But just because something is $400 doesn't necessarily mean that it like magically is going to last like a jillion years. That's just not the case. Synthetic wigs will not last forever with consistent daily use. Okay. However, they do have different types of fibers and, and affordable wigs have different types of fibers. And so I am going to actually do a whole video and maybe I'll do a whole live on this. Did I say live? I'm going to do a whole live on this because I really want to make this clear that it's really going to be about what you want and what you need and what you're looking for. And what you're looking for may actually put you in the affordable wig category simply because of the fibers and the styles and what they offer, not the price tag, okay? Um, uh, I buy stuff from Amazon, less expensive wigs, and yeah, and, they, and they're good. Um, I have from Bishi and Amazon. Right. I have a lot of name brand wigs and I absolutely love them for different reasons. Um, but I have a lot, some of my favorite wigs. I mean, Valentino is my absolute favorite wig. If I know that I have to go somewhere and I have to put something on and I need to know that I can't fuss with it and I can't be afraid that it's going to look good or bad or whatever, I go to Valentino. That's an $18 wig. It's an, a, it's old. It's an old $18 lace part wig. But every time I put it on, I feel good. I know that I'm going to look good. I'm never afraid if it's going to look good or bad. Okay. Um, but I have wigs, you know, that are name brand wigs that I love wearing that are three and $400. If I couldn't afford them or if I didn't do this, I probably wouldn't wear them. But I don't look at them and, and feel them and think, okay, this one's better than the other. It's more of just like a preference, if that makes sense. Um, so I think one of the bigger issues is the types of fibers. If you are someone that wants fibers that mimic your bio hair if you want to wear a wig that is going to make it hard for someone to tell that you have lost your hair I know that that's really important for some women then the fiber is going to be important to you and if you can only find it in a name brand wig then that's going to be where you're going to want to go because that's where your value is so I guess that's what I'm trying to say what what you value is what is important in terms of the fiber am I being long-winded for no reason <laughs> um what are some good and expensive brands and where do you find them I don't have time to go into that in this live, but I will definitely, what, what are some good affordable brands? You know what? And where do you find them? Let's do that. I think that should be next week's live. Because I can bring out a ton of different wigs. I can show you the brands. We can talk about the brands. I can give you examples. Um, I, let's do that. Shelly, that'll be the topic for next week's lives. Um, I'll give you the brands and where to find them. But I'll, I'll, I'll do like a little, you know, show and tell, try on type of thing. And yes, Altre is awesome. Altre is awesome. Um, but to be honest with you... I think uh, Newborn Freeze Magic Lace is like the same time. It, it'll probably be, yeah, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock is a pretty good time. Um, I'm trying to get a consistent time as far as like a, like a day and time. Part of it is that, you know, my partner and I, we, we have like two places. And so part of it is just a matter of like when he is in the city working is the availability for me to do this. Um, so... We'll say that it'll be Wednesday at 6, but 6 o'clock is going to be the time uh, because that's a good time that it, it seems to work for everybody. Um, tentatively, it'll be next Wednesday at 6. I'm even writing that down. But um, you will see. I'll post it on the community tab and you will see. But they'll be up weekly and um, yeah. If there's another way that you would like me to communicate them other than the community tab, 
Um, I'm not sure other than scheduling it. Like, let me know down below. When I, I, I scheduled that there was going to be a live, did you guys see that it was scheduled? And I also put up that I was going to do a live at 6 on my community tab. Did you see that? I know Maeve did. But um, if you could really let me know how you found out about the live, that would be really helpful. Okay, so before we get done, okay, I actually don't know that I have enough time to go into the rest of the stuff, which is fine because I wanted to answer your question. Um, so we talked about a lace parting wig. Um, so this is a lace part. This is a, not a lace, so you'll have a lace part and then you'll hear about a monofilament part. A lace part is simply just that, or it's a lace in the part. A monofilament part, where is that girl at? Where is that girl? Where'd she go? I just had her in front of me. A monofilament part means that it's not only just a lace part, but it's hand tied within the part. So it has like this natural movement. So if you can see, this is the mono part where, um, I don't know if you can see through the lighting that it sort of mimics your scalp. So not only is there lace in the part, but there's like movement within that part. So it does really mimic it sort of growing out of your scalp. So there's, there's the difference in that. Um, then we did talk about the, you want me to sing karaoke? <laughs> oh my, 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 you are too cute. Um, you threw me totally off. I am always singing actually, like always. I've been leaving it in my videos more because I'm constantly singing. No, I'm saying you want me to sing karaoke. <laughs> um, so you can have a lace part, then you can have a lace front. So that means that you have like this girl here. Sorry, girlfriend. This is a lace front where it has lace all along the front. So this is going to allow you to like customize your hairline. And I don't mind a lace part, but if you are really like, you know, uh, concerned about, you know, melding with your own um, hairline, I think it's good to have a, a lace front and you can really cut and customize. Like see how my hairline comes here. And someone had asked me like, and I have a little one, uh, widow's peak, but some people have a widow's peak. You can cut the lace based on your particular hairline. It doesn't have to be like cut like straight across. You can cut it and customize it to how your hairline is. I know some people, you know, when they're showing you to put on a wig, they just sort of cut the lace off, but customize it to how your hairline is. And if your hairline comes down naturally, then cut the lace down. Um, that's why I end up cutting lace to the point where a lot of times I cut the natural, like the baby hairs that they have on it because my hairline just comes back that far. Um, Oh, you're singing karaoke. Oh. <laughs> you were singing. I thought you were asking me to sing karaoke. So Shelly was saying she's singing karaoke next Thursday. I thought she was saying, could I sing karaoke? I, yeah, that went completely over my head. Um, the other one really quick before we end that I want to make um, a comparison for name brand wigs and affordable wigs is the monofilament top and free parting. So a monofilament top, do I have one right available? Are you one? I feel like I'm violating them. I'm like, I'm like, are you one? This is not a mono top. Um, well, let me get, let me get this girl really quick. So this is a wig from Vila Vila. This is Nicole. And she, no, she isn't one. Let's go back to, to um, Chelsea from Jana Collection. So she is a free parting, which means that I can put her, why don't I just put her on? Why am I not putting her on for you people? So I can put her on and then I can sh make the part anywhere that I want to. Um, the thing 
thing about free parting though, people are like, oh, I can part it anyway, that's great, which is great. But you do have to train the part where you want it to be and you usually need to do it with heat. So that is something to keep in mind because you can part it anywhere, it's sort of open to interpretation. So you do need to know that it's not one of the, it's not a weed that you're just gonna put on and go and be like, oh yay, you do have to set it. Now I did set this part right here. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I do have wigs everywhere. I'm not sure how my boyfriend feels about this room though because he like sleeps in here with all these wigs. But if you can see, um, this is where I set the part, but it could be set, it could be set here. It could be set here. It could be set here. So an affordable wig is going to be called a free parting. In a uh, name brand wig, it's going to be called a monofilament parting. So let me quick just grab something out of my closet. So this is Raquel Welch Longing for Long. Oh, this wig here, I love this wig. So this wig is part of that series that I was telling you about, um, which it was a wig that I had another color and I wanted to see if I got it in another color, if I still loved it. Um, so this will be coming up. This is Chelsea from Janet Collection. Um, this is an older wig. It is still available. This, this, is part of the princess line it is stunning and they are still available and they're under fifty dollars um but they are discontinuing these there's chelsea taylor and another one I, I will edit these and get these up in the next two weeks and this one i have in like three or four colors um but I'll get these up ASAP because these are amazing wigs. And like I said, they're still available and they're so inexpensive. It's insane. So this is Raquel Welch. And if you can see, she has the same sort of space to play around with. So, and she is called a monofilament top. So if you can see, yes, Felicia was part of that, but you can almost not find Felicia anymore. But it, but Taylor, Janet, or Taylor, Chelsea, and there's another one that I got. I can't think of it right now. Um, and in affordable wigs, they might be, they're called free parting, but they can be called like six by six, four by four, 13 by six. It's just the measurement of how much room you have to work with, but it is the same thing. Okay. So now we're going to put on longing for long. And, uh, I can just tell you right now, this chick needs to be washed and I don't know why she was in her box because I feel like I, I must add sea salt spray or something because I can feel that this girl is struggling. Um, and see, I could do, see, I can change like this or like this or like this. See, so just, you know, to see that that's the same type of wig in those two things just so you know if you are looking for a similar wig and you're used to name brand wigs this is what you'd be looking for and vice versa let me just comb her a little bit she is having issues <laughs> she is going right in the thing to wash all righty roo so that is what i have for you um you asked how I knew about the live. You put an advance notice out. So you did see that. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'll make sure that I put those advance notices up so that you know when I'm going to go live. Um, I'll definitely do it the day of, but I'll try to um, actually do it 
at least a day or two in advance. Okie doke. Okay, Miss Longing for Long, you are, yeah, she needs well washed. I don't know what I was doing with her. I usually never put them back in the box when they, when they need something like this. All right, so that is what I have for this sort of wig coaching live. Um, I think I'm going to call it a wig situation. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I hope you really enjoyed this. Um, this will be up on my channel as a regular video, so you can go ahead and watch it back. And if you have any questions or if you think of anything after the fact, you can comment like you would a regular video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. We would love to have you because you're a doll baby. Um, if you are participating in these lives, you must be subscribed in order to chat and ask questions. Um, that's just a little thank you to you doll babies. Okay. I hope you guys are having a great night and I hope to see you soon. I hope to see you in the next live. Thank you so, 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 so much. Oh, thank you, Olivia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Maeve. I hope I answered your question. Um, please take a look at the community tab because if you have questions, I want to make sure that I answer them. And I hope you have a great night and I'm so excited. I'm glad I did this. We're going to do this every week and I will see you in the next one. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. Thank you, Olivia. Bye, Maxie. Thank you, Maeve. Thank you. Have a great Wednesday night, guys. Have a great night. Kit Kat says bye. <laughs> bye, Shelly.